What's up, guys? Welcome to Week 15 NFL Parlay. I am your host, Tanner Kern, the betting guy here at bparlay.com. Now, if you want to fade me, go ahead. But 21-7 and seven against spread in the past two weeks, we're rolling here at the channel, and we're going to keep it going today. we got a quick little parlay for you guys. We'll throw the quote in here. Why not? If you don't see yourself as a winner, then you cannot perform as a winner. Zig Ziglar, that's credit to him. And then, of course, it's not gambling when you know you're going to win, just like we're going to do here at bparlay.com, guys. The full picks video is up right now. Go check it out. That's the big one. That's the marquee. That's the main event smash the subscribe button like it do all that stuff guys comment we love that here at b parlay thank you so much for all the support remember got to give myself a free shout out follow me on social at tanner current and then at tanner current underscore on twitter obviously and join the b parlay army like share and subscribe guys why not you gotta like this share and subscribe turn post notifications on that's what we do every morning we get here we talk about betting as a community and it's great it's fun it's so much fun because winners win winners win and we are all winners here at b parlay.com let's get into it all right Got three nice little bets this week. Kansas City Chiefs, minus three versus Los Angeles Chargers. Bengals, plus one and a half versus Denver Broncos. And then Green Bay Packers, minus five versus Baltimore Ravens. Uh, It's very juicy. Now, that line has shifted, as you can see here on the side. It opened to minus four and a half. Now it's minus five. It's changing. It's shifting. It's uh, doing all that, guys. So anything, I would play that up to six, honestly. Uh, I think Green Bay is just a much better team, six and a half. Uh, If you go to seven, you might want to consider maybe shifting it over. But six and a half, I'm going to take right now with them. I would take it up to six and a half. So let's go. Cincinnati Bengals plus one and a half here. We'll start with this game because you know what? The Chiefs deserve to go second. Cincinnati Bengals here. Denver's not a great football team. The Lions played okay against them. They just did not play well in the red zone. If the Lions convert in the red zone, that's a different game. Denver made mistakes. They ran the ball effectively, but Denver make mistakes. And don't forget it. If the Bengals will take advantage of those mistakes, and they will cost the Broncos this week. It will cost the Broncos this week. Uh, Cincinnati had a rough loss to the San Francisco 49ers. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen this week. If they go to overtime with Denver Broncos, I guarantee Bengals win, and they cover plus one and a half. Go to Kansas City Chiefs here. Are the Chiefs back? I don't know. We debated this in the picks video. I don't think they are back. I still think they have some weaknesses in their uh, scheme and their offense and their defense. The offense erupted this week, but that has not been the case as of late still, though. The Chargers are one of the most inconsistent teams in football. Chargers, Bengals, uh, and Steelers. Those three teams are very inconsistent. I know I'm betting on the Bengals here uh, in that parlay also, but why not? Who cares? But Kansas City Chiefs minus three. I just don't. I don't see it. I, I, I don't see the Chargers being able to cover plus three this weekend. I like the Chiefs at minus three, as long as the offense and defense show up. And then finally, Green Bay Packers. Aaron Rodgers is the greatest quarterback, uh, one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever do it. Uh, Baltimore Ravens are just not a good football team right now. Lamar Jackson is hurt. He will likely play, but still the injuries, uh, it's going to be too much for them to overcome. They're not playing well. They're missing reads that they should be making, and Green Bay will cover. They're a cover machine, 11-2 against the spread this year. Uh, so the combined odds of the parlay plus five ninety five hundred dollar wager is going to pay out six ninety five. Let's have a hell of a week. Let's win a lot of money and let's go to work. Remember, winners win. Don't forget it. Join the B Parlay Army, and we will talk to you next week for another parlay. Week sixteen, baby. Here we come. <laughs>